Well, it's time to return to a project we started a couple of months ago, but due to some hardware and cabling issues, we had to put it on the back burner. We're going to return to building a PC for my rear projection television. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. We are going to return to building a PC for my rear projection television for this one and I've now found the original graphics card that I wanted to use initially for this build. The reason being is it has composite video out. Now, we've already seen the computer that we're going to use, I've already picked that out, but I've also picked out a Wi-Fi card to use for it as well. Now, I've got a couple of Wi-Fi cards that I can pick from to do this but we're going to try it with this one initially because the motherboard does have a short PCIe by 4 expansion bus basically now I did get a few comments saying that this project was inane and I also got a few abusive comments which were not published but I'm determined to get this to work because I really want to be able to use my rear projection TV not just as a thing to use and have on in the background even though I can't technically see it because of that thing but you know I can have it on I can have the TV on here you know if there's sport or something on during the day and I'm working down here I can just have it on in the background as a streaming system so very similar to what I've got upstairs with the media PC the only difference being with the media PC is we don't tend to watch live TV on it down here though I don't have TV because of there's a problem with the DVD VCR STB that I'm already using. So now that I've found all the bits and pieces I need, we're going to build up the media PC. Now, the operating system. It's going to be MX32. I know I probably should use Ferron, but considering this computer's ability, I think MX being a bit lighter than Ferron 32 might be a bit better from an OS performance point of view. So, let's get back to building a PC for my rear projection television. Let's get into it. Alright, so, here's the graphics card I want to use. As you can see here, it's got composite video out, which is perfect. So, I'm going to take this graphics card out of here. This is a, a Zeus ATI Radeon card. So, let me get the graphics card out. I might be able to do it one-handed, actually. Maybe. No, I won't. Hang on. All right. So this is a ATI Radeon Zeus 3450. I'm going to swap it out what I believe to be an NVIDIA, but I oh know. I could be wrong. I think this is an ATI 6200. You don't know what this one is. Could be ATI, but anyway. All right. So, get that one in. Cats come to help. Whoop. There we go. That'll do it. Put that screw back in. The next thing I've got to do is grab that Wi-Fi card. Hang on a moment. All right. One Wi-Fi card. If it'll fit. Why aren't you fitting in? Hang on. All right. Well, what I've done is I've pulled that front audio out. That was stopping me getting the Wi-Fi card in. So I really don't actually technically need it. So what I'll do now is put that back on. 
Then we've got some power leads, keyboard, mouse, and an RCA lead, long enough to go. And then what I'm going to use is this reversible SCART, which will be all right, as you can see. And uh, we'll bung it into my rear projection television. So I'll bolt all this back together, go and hunt for some power leads and an RCA lead. Although actually, I think I've... I think this one will be long enough. It's the go here, hang on. Oh, no, hang on. That's not the right lead. Uh, okay. Let me, um, let me go hunting for a, a set of RCA leads. I'll put this back together, get the side back on it, and go and hunt for some power or a power lead, screen, keyboard, and mouse. All right, so we now have audio and video into SCART. You'll see there I've got it switched in. Now, these remember with these, these are reversible too, if you're familiar with some SCART plugs, right? So these are reversible, so you need to have them going in to something like that or coming out of like a old school satellite box. I even think Foxtel still use these here in Australia in some cases as well. So audio, video, I need a power lead, keyboard and mouse. Yeah, uh, hang on a moment. Okay, we're all plugged up. It's a bit of a mess of cables. Keyboard, mouse, rear pros on. I just got to pick the right bloody input now, I think. AV2, AV3, S video, front, analog TV, AV1. All right, let's, uh, let's see what this does. Oh. It's on. See if we get a picture. Hey, there we go. Look at that. We've got a Core 2 Duo at 2.8 gig. Yes. All right. Let's, uh, let's get MX installed. All righty. Well, a little bit of a tech tip for you. Here's my MX 32-bit ISO. Okay. But a little bit of a tech tip for you. All right. If you're going to use an optical drive to install an operating system, regardless of whether it's IDE or SATA, you're going to want to make sure that it's actually connected. <laughs> um, this is an IDE drive, and uh, I needed it to uh, I need to connect it up. Um, so I've just grabbed an IDE lead and a Molex plug. So I will plug all this back up again fire it up and uh, get MX 32 bit installed. All right, so the resolution's not exactly great, <laughs> but it's gonna do what I want it to do. So let's um, F10 to save. Yes, I've got the CD-ROM ready to rock. I've also got audio plugged in too. So there we are, we have a 2.8 gig Intel Core 2 Duo E7400. First boot device. Oh, there we go. So we'll go with the MX18. That one. Now, being this close to the screen, it's not going to look fantastic because remember with rear projections, you've got to sit back a bit. But it's going to do what I want it to do, which is all I'm asking. Version 2.8. My finger out of the road. All right. Well, once I've got all this installed, uh, we will come back. Okay, apologies for the flickering light, but I am now installing MX Linux 18.1386 into this. 
And I've got to say, it's already picked it up at SD, 720 by 576, which I'm happy about. So I'll continue the installation and when it's done, we'll come back. Okay, so MX is installed. I'm just booting into the new system now. Might take a while to do, but anyway. And there we are. Now I've got auto login enabled. And you can see there, it almost fits in the whole screen. But like I said, this is purely for me to be able to stream to. So I don't really need it. You know, this is just so I can watch TV down here. I have the TV on on this if I want. I've got to do a few things, but the majority of them will get done pretty quickly, I reckon. Just waiting for the last little bit to load up and then we'll get going all right back once this thing's done and there we go resolution's not exactly fantastic but it'll do as a streaming system because it, it's just so i can watch tv down here in the office because at least i can have something on in the office in the background it does actually work okay it actually does work let me replay my own video here Good news and I've got bad news. What do you want first? There we go. Look at that. Know, take your pick. What do you want first? Now I can zoom out. The good news. That's a good way to kick off today. It's Thursday. It's the second Hang last on. day of the working week for those who work Monday to Friday. And to make it even better, tomorrow's Friday. There we go. So you've only got to get through today. So there we are. I now have a streaming computer down here in the office on my rear projection television. There we are, Rear Pro Project done. Glad we got that sorted out. Stick around, more coming up. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.